Welcome to the Porsche Club Insider, your one stop for all things Porsche and PCA. Here's your host, Vu Gwyn, and the Insider Crew. Well, welcome everyone, and welcome to episode 107. We are at PCA's national headquarters. At the controls, we have Robert Forsyth. At the table, we have Manny Albin, uh, Damon, and Rob are not here, but we have two very special guests. And I'm sure if you're in any kind of social media, you've probably seen them, and that is Christian and Orchard Hartinger. Welcome to PCA's national headquarters. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. And where you might have seen them, Manny, maybe you'll share with our listeners. I was going to say, they were known as the twins because they had twin GT3 RSs. Right. They are not twins. They're but, husband but no, and wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, uh, but they're not twins anymore. Cause they're I, not. No. I, I, see, I saw you at work in the green speedster. One twin has to stay at home. Oh, okay. So, yes, we've seen them. Uh, I don't even know where to start because I think your travels when you had both uh, the GT3s uh, and then now when you have this piece of, you've gone and done so many bucket list events uh, like this is this, this is going to take a good chunk of our time today and listen to your journeys and um, so let me just first off like how did you even think of this idea of shipping your two GT3s to the US and then enjoying some tours and let's start with that um, we, we uh, listened to a friend and he told us you have to be part at the pca parade once in your life it's a big event it's uh, great and we don't have something like that over here uh -huh. so we should uh, rent a car over there we should rent a porsche and go to a parade and that's what my husband told me. <laughs> and uh, I told him, yeah, we should do this, but not with a rental car. It's boring. We should take our own cars and bring wow, it. Wow, that was your idea? Yeah. <laughs> so easy yeah. was, the, re that was, was the idea. That okay. was the idea. Now, yes, most of us would have just, one, rented a any kind of car to come, but then maybe would have stepped it up into a Porsche, with, let's say, like the Porsche Drive program. <laughs> but you took it an even step further was we will bring a Porsche and if that's not enough we're going to bring two Porsches so when did the one to two come into play well we always drive uh, with our own Porsche we met us in a Porsche club and so everybody uh, had his own Porsche before and we were a Porsche driver and nobody of us wants to give up to drive because <laughs> I, love that. that's I, awesome. I don't I don't want to be the co-driver because right. I also get car sick I'm not good at a co-driver, so I want to drive as well, and he wants to drive, of course, so we always go with two cars. Wow. Happy marriage. Here Happy marriage. Go. I mean, <laughs> if you know what you like and you work it out, that's so that's yeah. cool. I didn't realize that you guys had met in the Porsche world. Yes, yes right. And you were all you were both driving your own cars. No, she drove her Porsche, I drove my Porsche. So, it, yeah, you cannot drive with one Porsche in the future when you met you were first time in the Porsche Club. So were you were you both driving GT3s when you met, or what were you driving? No, she drove a 997 Turbo, a 997.1, and a Cayenne. Oh, wow. And I drove, a, oh, I think, uh, a GT3, 997.2 in this time. fast couple. <laughs> 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 Very cool. Okay, so what does it take? Again, I'm... Well, when, I'm you, when you say Porsche Club, it's worth mentioning, uh, you were involved with the Porsche Club Leipzig, right? Uh, when we are when we are met first time, it was the Porsche Club Chemnitz. Okay, and, and where is that at? Uh, it? Chemnitz is in uh, one hour in the south of, of Leipzig. Okay. okay, it's a former GDR. Oh, okay, and then it's was a very small club. Club our clubs are very small, thirty members. Did, so now, did you grow up in East Germany, or did, as we call it? We used to call it East Germany. Me. I grew, grew up, up. I grew up really? there. Oh. Yeah, in Leipzig. Wow. She's a girl mm -hmm. from from the eastern. I'm the, uh, the girl from uh, the man from Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So when did you end up? So you you also were president of Porsche Club Leipzig. Yes. Yeah. So how many years in that five role? five years? Five years. And so again, how do you get two cars to the states as opposed to just <laughs> renting one here? Yeah, everybody wanted to drive his oh. own car, and 
also with the luggage, it's not easy uh, to go like four weeks with a 911, just with a small trunk right. and everything. In, so it's better to take two cars. But anyway, out of the luggage, we would have, it, we both want to drive. And so we both want to have the feeling of the car and driving and the streets. And yeah, it's it's not possible to drive in one car for us. <laughs> you just ship it on a boat, the car? Yes. yes. But yeah. I, I, go back. I think uh, nobody thought about uh, to bring one car to the U.S. It yeah. was for yeah. us, it's always normal. Yeah. Two cars. Two, two cars. We are two yeah. people. Now, is we, we met us 2010. From 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 this day on, we drove with two cars to Monaco, to Italy, to Switzerland. So it was the, o the only way to bring two cars. Yeah. So is it difficult? Like, are there things you have to do, or what's it's, like? How's the paperwork? Uh, in it's such easy. You have an idea. You say you book a ship, you book a container. We, uh, the cars go to in a, in to a, a container. container. A friend told us okay. because it's was two GT3 RSs because of the, spo uh, the, the lips. Right. It's better to use a container than a uh, roll-on, roll-off ship. Oh, okay. So you book a container, go to the US. Do both easy. cars fit in one container? Or yes, does a 40 yeah. feet container. Oh, oh wow. Um, okay. Uh, it sounds so easy when you look at uh, Google. Yeah. <laughs> the reality is right, right now in his head, he's <laughs> thinking, next time I go to Germany, <laughs> I'm going to buy a car, and now I know how to ship oh. it back. As, this is an easy way. Yeah, you buy it. You, for for US and American people, it's easy. You buy a car in, in Europe. It's twenty five years old. You import it. No, it's easy. We have to pay twenty five hundred. Twenty five years. No, twenty five years old. Oh, twenty five year so, old so car. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you can import it regular uh -huh. to the US. Right. But for us, the ship, the container was no problem. It's mm. a German company. But the next question was insurance. Insurance. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Please, do you have a uh, US? Address? No. Uh, Are you uh, residential? No. no. Is your car US license? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get no insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Shipping partner mm. made the paperwork for the EPA permit. Okay. You need a EPA permit. Oh, like the shipping company does that for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Because you need a um, customer service to get in, uh, to get in contact with the EPA. You cannot do this as a person as a private person. I see. And so. It's easy for us. You, uh, the company get all your papers, uh, the fin number, your ownership uh, paper, and they make. Did, did anyone work. along this process have a concern that you were bringing two cars to the United States to sell, and no, it wouldn't come back? Or do you have to sign something that says we will bring the cars back? You have to sign it when okay. you make the EPA first. The first step for the EPA, you have to sign you don't sell the car. Ah, here. okay. And gotcha. it's no way for the cars to stay here. Now, was there mm -hmm. a time limit you also mm -hmm. had to commit to, saying the cars will come to the States and be one maximum? Year. Oh, one, max year. One, one year. So is one year the maximum, or you chose one year? It's the maximum. It's you the can max choose it, but uh, one year is the maximum. One year is the maximum. Okay. And the first time you came, you're, so you, you initially thought it would be for Porsche Parade, but you had a much more grand plan of doing yeah. things with the two cars. In addition to Porsche, so this is 2019 when you're planning this. Yes, yeah. 2019. 2019. Then we made you. Uh, we met, met you in Portugal for the right. first yeah. contact. Yeah. And so the idea grows. Otto's idea was, Porsche parade is enough once in a life. Yeah. And I thought we can travel a, for a few roads, sort about from one national park to the next. And I thought, no, we drive from one Porsche club to the other <laughs> Porsche club. <laughs> <laughs> and you did. D uh, roughly, do you know how many Porsche club events you've been to in the States? Roughly. No. No, a lot. No. Uh, we've seen you everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen you. Uh, we, we we've, see seen you we've seen you. Uh, oh, look at yeah. on the screen. Robert, Those you're watching on routes. YouTube. Yes, so you've uh, been to Amelia. You've been to Porsche parades. You've been to Rensport. Uh, you've done... Um, I think Monterey. every great, Monterey, every every great yeah. big, big event in the U.S. since you 2010, can. we tried to participate, yeah. and this was a uh, map from our first trip in 2020 and 21. Yeah, and told Christian he's seen more of America than most Americans have seen. <laughs> you've 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 crossed <laughs> so many checklists, uh, bucket list items on what you. It's amazing. 
Yeah. Ding, ding. I said amazing on purpose. Oh, look at that. There you go. <laughs> In case you're wondering, that ring uh, noise is a uh, boo. Uh, has been accused of using the word amazing too many times. Yeah, I only used it once so far. So, so one of our fans, Paul Gentili, bought us a little bell, just <laughs> kind of like Pavlov's response. But the, I use that on purpose because it is truly. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's the, it's the only way when you when you would like to drive your car, or you should do a tour. You cannot drive from. Oh, I'm sorry, from New York to New York, or from Houston, Texas, to the next city outside and back. Drive it. Drive your your beautiful back roads. Drive from Florida to New York, from New York to Colorado, from Colorado to Arizona, up to the Pikes Peak. So best way. So your your choice of Porsche is pretty interesting too. Of course, we all love GT3s. Well, before you get to yep. that, we got to finish up. So it's 2019. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. We know it's coming now. Oh yeah. 2020. That 2020. becomes the year of the That's pandemic. Awesome. But back in 2019, you didn't. No one knew that. Right. No. So you're planning to go to uh, would have been Palm Springs Parade. Yes. In California. This was our, was our starting point. You um, mix a day. And you said Porsche Parade Palm Springs. We made the announcement. 2020. Yep. Yes. Yep. Audrey said, "Let's do it." So the cars uh, are. <laughs> Uh, so you make plans. Uh, what month do the cars arrive in America in they 2020 arrived, or tw 2019? They arrived mid of February 2020. 20, oh, wow. And we arrived <laughs> eight days later because we said we don't know. Maybe the ship is one or day, two days too late. So we they arrived mid and we arrived, uh, I think, about 2020. Oh, February. Where did they land in America? In Miami. In Miami. Yeah. Okay. And then we saw you at Amelia. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. This was so. our first event. So when we... When we make our tour trips, we said, okay, before we go to Palm Springs, we go to Works, uh, Works Union, Amelia Island, whatever happened. Yep. I, do, I didn't know so this. You're, this you're planning to tour America from February until Parade. Yes. Mm -hmm. One one year, I, I know year. every every road, every event. All this is planned out. Uh, we know uh, Works Union in August in Monterey in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you saw the map, and this yep. was the basement for me to, for our tour, but because you need a goal every day. You have to know, I have to stay this night in this hotel, in this area, on Sunday for this car, some coffee, and next week for, for this event. Otherwise, you go lost in a, in a big crowd. But too. when you first got here, back to 2020, mm -hmm. um, was, was, it was Corona back then. We were no. calling it COVID. Was Corona even uh, something that you were worried about? Because I remember that works reunion of 2020 uh, we were, it was, it was a little strange a some we people were like, are hugging yeah. some yeah. people are elbow but it was still mainly coming from california so everyone said well it's probably not that serious it may not make it to the east coast and two weeks later everything was shut down it, it, did you have that worry or did you hope that uh, like most most people thought it's just going to pass by I think you thought about this passed away one day two days like yeah. a yeah. like like a little illness you feel headache or Ne nobody knows what ha what sure. really happens. So we stayed at work. We didn't really worry about, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we didn't realize that it's so uh, dangerous or sure. you know, yeah, so yeah. like long time, mm. you know. We no hooches, only yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So so greetings. Uh, okay, it was, it was normal in this time. Was, yeah. but so after Amelia, how did the plans change? Yeah, we go after Amelia for us was uh, the idea to go to Savannah and go to Atlanta with its uh, experience center. Mm -hmm. And we stayed in Atlanta and uh, COVID started really hard. Yeah. And so we storage the cars, yeah. get a little support, go in a, in a big uh, storage room for cars, say goodbye. We come back in three weeks, maybe in four weeks. We we know. The hope. Yeah. No, we hope. Yeah, we in this, yeah. in this no moment, I think we, yeah. we, we, we know it will be a longer pa uh, stay at home, but long four weeks. Yeah. Not more. We, we booked the flight already. Yeah. Uh, we had thinking the that flight. you were coming back. Uh, already. Yeah. 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 No. Sure. We, wow. We, 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 <laughs> when we arrived at the Atlanta International Airport in the morning, uh, the check-in hall was empty completely empty we were the only people in there and, oh. and we thought oh my god what's going uh, on the here that is weird yeah. right yeah I, I thought about only it. we only the two of us i thought about world war three oh. yeah, like okay. something like Bump. that you know. yeah oh. but this is the only reason is a war yeah otherwise why is a so it's a the busiest 
Airport, uh, air, uh, airport in the US. Empty. Sure. Empty. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So, so, so now you're home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you're home. What's the next step? Well, obviously, we're all trying to figure out our lives, right? Mm. The world's trying to lives. At what point are you thinking we're going to be able to get back? So we, we couldn't go back at this time. We, we always uh, text to the guy from the storage uh, yeah. one more, more, one month more. <laughs> one more month. <laughs> more, <laughs> more. Month to month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always like that. And then we tried our to get... Um, our visa for the cars right. to to longer this mm. extension you know, yeah, yeah extension because uh, normally they had to go b uh, back in february 21 mm -hmm. so mm. we thought okay it was september october november yeah, yeah. wow no border was open and we thought okay three weeks driving is enough for for a yeah. twin tour yeah. we can bring the cars back and a friend told us no try to get an ex extension you have to tr Write it, write your story. Do you need somebody at the EPA who say, wow, it's a great story. You get your extension. So right. we tried it five times, we'd get five times, no, oh, go wow. out. And six times, think Sarah was a, girl, a very, very great car yeah. guy, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she wrote, yes, you ah. get 10 months more because months of more. COVID. Okay, yeah. because, because it's car, we need 10 months Sure. St uh, pit stop in Germany. Right. So we got 10 months more. Yeah. And when did you finally reunite with the twins? No, we have to look back because uh, as German people, it was not allowed for us to come to the United States right. because right. of the regulations. Right. But President Snowd said, when you stay the last 14 days in Europe, you cannot enter the US. So we thought about, oh, Europe, it's small part in the world. Right. Where can we go? And so it was uh, Costa Rica was for us as German the easiest way because uh -huh. co uh, Costa Rica has no regulations. You can go inside Costa Rica and you need insurance. Oh. So we stayed 14 days in Costa, Costa Rica, Rica. And, oh, then wow. from and said there goodbye you Costa Rica. Hello again, oh. Atlanta. Oh. And we did this twice, two times in Costa Rica, yeah. two weeks. One time in Panama, two weeks. And the fourth time in Canada, also two weeks. You guys are so incredibly resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> I want to travel quarantine. with you. <laughs> I, I would want to travel with you because I would have zero worries. I know we're going to get to our destination. Yeah. We, we, we left Germany on uh, Christmas 2020. And everybody said, oh, you're going 21. vacation to Costa Rica, mm -hmm. son. 21. 20, no, 22, uh, 2020 in Costa Rica. Mm. Okay. And everybody, oh, to go to Croatia, but yes, we have 14 days Costa Rica, wonderful weather, <laughs> blue sky. <laughs> but the only thing for us was we need, we, no, we, want, we would like to go to the US, we would like to see the cars, we would like to drive yeah. from one event to the next. Right. That was the original intent. Yeah. And so we stayed 14 days in a real in a paradise. But always thinking about, yes, leaving paradise to 10, the true nine, paradise. Eight, getting seven in the car. days go. Well, the good yeah. thing was you didn't miss parade, because parade was canceled that year. Yep. Yeah, yes. Right. Uh, did, did they announce the cancellation around April or May? Uh, I don't remember when they did, but it was uh, very late. It, it was it was pretty late. I mean, yeah, I know you guys held on. As we had long so as many, we, you know, like you, we were thinking it's going to be over. Yeah, it's going to be over. The club has and never we, missed a parade since we 50, didn't uh, want six. to be. You know, in place where we have to say we mm. missed a parade, but you know, we held out as long as we could. We have obviously many contracts and such, but yeah, we had to do what ultimately something that no one ever predicted when we did planning was a pandemic. Yeah. But you did the parade in twenty three. It was okay for yeah, us. Yeah, we came back and <laughs> did it. Yep, exactly. So you, you get back in the cars in uh, in late or uh, early twenty one. Yes, Gen mid mid of January. 21. So you start the tour again uh, a little bit later in Atlanta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to his Bobo Motorsports Park, to the, uh, to the Experience Center, drove with um, Brenda and Ross Spence from Knoxville, The Tale of the Dragon. Yeah. So, and do all the things we planned for 2020, mm -hmm. only 10 months later. Now, I know what, uh, uh, before this, uh, we got the, your background, Boo was asking about the planning of the events. Are you both like planners? Like my wife, she's the planner. I'm not. <laughs> she wants to know every hour what we're doing, where I'm just more like, oh, we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, I'm uh, but she planner. wants to know, 8 o'clock, what are we doing? 10 o'clock, what are we doing? Are you both like that? or? 
No, nope. he's, he's the planner. He's the planner. She <laughs> didn't know yesterday that we go to the PCA headquarter <laughs> today <laughs> and said she had to give her an interview. <laughs> <laughs> so I did tell him, just in yeah, case. I, thought, yeah, I yeah, did yeah. tell him. So <laughs> I believe like you. you. Yeah. <laughs> so she, she's always following me uh, since 2010 when we, when we drove and when we now drive. I'm the lead car. Yeah. She's following me. You she, guys have it down, right? It's yeah. So it's it's very easy for me and I think for her too. I've got to say, there's some other stories that I'm going to talk about later because I know you're literally in, uh, an angel is in our presence because I've heard of the things that you've gone through in some of your expeditions and how patient you are. And I think Manny and I <laughs> will also agree that our wives uh, are all along the same lines as you and very patient with us. <laughs> but we'll get to those in a bit. But back to my question with the GT3s. Obviously, GT3s are amazing cars. Our RSs. Oh, well, RSs. Which in the, is yeah, not yeah, known you, as a touring car. Exactly. Not <laughs> known as a touring car. But your obvious choices are two RSs to, to take some long drives. You still happy with the fact that you took RSs, or would you want something more comfortable? Or how do you deal with the sound? How do you deal with you know, what's it, what was it like traveling all over the U.S. in two pretty hardcore mm. Porsches? It was the only two cars that we owned. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I heard you had Cayennes and stuff too. <laughs> no, I think uh, when I when we met the first time, I, I drove a GT3. And for the wedding, we I got a GT3 RS, so we always drive the race cars. Yeah, similar. I think it's they are very comfortable. You can mm. drive you can drive in the full bucket seats, 500 miles. It's good. Yes. You have sound. You have a you, it's a it's a loud car. It, you have to hold your car. It's a strong car, but you can drive it. And we had always a, li a lot of fun with the GT3 RSs. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are and very lucky. How about how about when you're driving them? in not so great weather and you've got torrential rain and you're on cup twos i'm assuming you're on cup twos it's us you have to drive cup twos in germany you have no no other choice <laughs> <laughs> <Cup twos. laughs> okay we know uh, we know this you can drive 50, 50 miles uh -huh. or it rain it's okay and so you, you just drive dial it faster back. you have to watch mm. aqua planning that's that's so hardcore. That's amazing. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> I'm using it. See, I'm counting and I'm using how many times okay. <laughs> to make it worthwhile. All right. So, uh, Manny, you want to ask the next question about maybe memorable, uh, memorable. Well, events. what we were talking we, for that one, we we're one thing that we always hear from um, when we have uh, German visitors is uh, discovering how large our country is. And I always say, well, a lot of Americans don't realize how big America is. And when I drove cross country, um, it would amaze me uh, how I would drive. Amazed, but that's the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how uh, you could drive uh, eight hours and still be in the same state. <laughs> and it's all flat. Yep. Uh, you know, once I passed Chicago, it was. Uh, and anyone who thinks we're running out of room has never driven across country because there's plenty of uh, space in this country. Um, and, and the distances between two cities, um, I always joke, I use my point, my fingers in two inches is, uh, on the map, but that can be easily, uh, two days of driving. Yeah. Um, is, is that something you knew before you got here or is it something you discovered once you got here, how far away the distances were? No, <laughs> I think we, I, 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 I knew, uh, Google maps and <laughs> maps and you see two inches. It's like the two inches in Germany, it's a one, one hour drive. <laughs> Not <laughs> when exactly. You, when you start in Miami, two inches to Key West, maybe three hour, maybe two, maybe one hour and 10 minutes. But when you drive here, you have to drive four hours. It's quite di uh, diffi uh, it's difficult to, uh, to Germany, but you have to learn it. <laughs> now, is it, was it an adjustment for you to drive in the States because they're you know, the, the overall speeds we have on the highways is much lower and we don't have that very famous uh, gray circle with a line through it that lets you open up your cars like they do in Europe. Many people ask us about the speed. Okay, we have in Germany, we have autobahns. Yeah, everybody, I think everybody knows a Porsche 
runs over 300 kilometers, over 200 miles in an hour. But I think we are too old for, for this to give us <laughs> stupid things to drive 200 miles on the autobahn, yeah. two lanes with traffic. Yeah. And in the US, back to the to your question, the US, the, the average speed is higher than the average speed in the in Germany. Ah, Bec because that's interesting. Okay. When you drive 60 miles on your highway on the left side, the truck said, "Hi, I go right on, I pass you right with 65 miles." Right. So all cars driving the same speed in Germany, you have trucks say. Uh, it's only allowed f uh, 50 miles mm -hmm. for the truck, so the, the traffic is always stopping. Oh. And the, in the US, the traffic is running. I see. So, so the overall average speed that you get to drive here no. is higher than hmm. what it's you normally would higher, so I never hmm. looked at it from that way. Yeah. I remember when we drove uh, in Germany, uh, they really respected the speed limit. So the speed limit said 120. Everyone went down uh, to 120, yeah, right. yeah. but here that you say, well, the police will let me go at 140, so yeah. I can go 20 kilometers right. more yeah. just, and not just get in trouble. Look at I-95 mm. coming up here. You know, technically it's 65 miles an hour, but I, I can probably count on my hands how many cars are actually going mm. 65, and most yeah. of them are going 75, 80, yeah. 85. And everybody drives this in German. You have this problem: left side, one car, 120. Oh, oh it's too fast. 110, it's enough. Uh, and everybody's braking, yeah. and mm -hmm. you cannot pass on the right side. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. So Is it weird for you that people and you can pass on the right here when you're driving? You're probably used to it now. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. That's funny. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of cool to hear like their that. perspective about our roadways because we always talk about how cool it is that we oh. get to a section in Europe that we can really open it up. But you're that's in, yeah. in German, yeah. you have to look in your mirror uh, or in the front when you drive faster than 200 kilometers, faster than 150 miles. Yeah, right. yeah. Because nobody, the, the, the driver in front of you, don't see you. He don't look in the mirror. They're not paying attention, yeah. Mm. So it's very, I think it's very. Uh, dangerous to drive fast mm. on the autobahn on the autobahn yeah. yes and we yeah. say when we do, when we would like to g drive fast we can go on a racetrack and yeah. can show right. wow i'm the best i'm the fastest driver very cool uh, lap times don't lie lap so don't <laughs> lie. now i know also the tolerances in uh in germany with speed cameras and everything if it says 50 if you're doing 53, you're getting a ticket. I yes. mean, that's, right. that's very yeah. tight tolerances. Yeah. Here in the States, you can probably do, say, uh, 55. More importantly, uh, that speed camera in Germany counts towards your license. Yes. Yeah, right. Here, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. Right. So you pay a fine, but it yeah. doesn't affect your license or no points or no yeah. nothing affected on your license. 20, 20 miles in Germany, too fast. Your license go away for four weeks. Sure. No driving for weeks. I'd be, taking, I'd be taking a lot of vacation time. <laughs> Manny, <laughs> Manny would probably be the Uber king <laughs> if he lived in Germany. It would take him less than a month to lose it all. <laughs> uh, Paul Greger, who used to be our, our uh, liaison for Porsche, told us many a story about uh, yeah. how he would take his vacation in the U.S. To while time he was, it. To time it. To time his uh, you're license. Calling, uh, you're calling Paul out. Uh, on and the, the second time, that you'd go, uh, if you lose your license, the second time you go to the school. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, so it's make no sense. So I have to ask this question. Do you know roughly how many uh, miles you've driven so far in the States? 40,000 miles. 40,000 wow. miles. Okay. Since so, the, today. so the next question is, in those 40,000 miles, have you met any of our favorite law enforcement? <laughs> No, never ever. Never ever. Really? Knock on wood. No, we can knock and make it to make some noise. Knock on wood. So that'll continue. <laughs> Good for you guys. Wow. That's because impressive. These, these are not Man, like Andy does forty miles and every day there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I'm not driving a car up a wing and checkered flag on the side and I mean your cars stand out. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's impressive. And do you do you get a lot of people again with just one of those cars alone? I'm sure people are putting their their cell phones out the window, giving you thumbs up. Driving as a pair, you must get that all day long. I think yes. every every day. Every day. Every day yeah. Yeah, yesterday, yeah. I saw a message on Instagram. Oh, we saw you guys. Yeah. Every uh, everywhere, I think. Well, on the on the road. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I I remember oh, me the, these two uh, girls. They yeah. passed away, and they smiled and make pictures. Yeah. And they 
remember me to the license plate. Right. And I wrote here, are you the Pussy B license plate? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I got some pictures from Zitze Maid. So oh. people are very friendly here. And hmm. All right. So for those that are not watching on YouTube, the two cars they brought initially were GT3 RSs. One was white with the, the red accents, red wheels. It would be a 997.2. Yep. And uh, the other one was the blue one with red. So they definitely jump out. And I love the And they photos. got the, the German plates. German plates. Yes. So. Yeah, it's... Uh... And they are similarly, really similarly, the so license plates. But now, uh, so those go back, those went back January of 20, when did they go no, back? November 21. November of 21. So when you did finish uh, the tour of? Ten, 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 uh, 10 months more. We start in January 21. Did you have to drive them back to Florida to put them in a container or where did they go? They went to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. To okay. a company over there. Okay. Who made it for us. And then how long, well, how long did it take for the cars to get here and how long does it take to go back roughly? Uh, to get here about two weeks. Oh, that's not bad. To the East Coast. Mm. Yeah. And back, it was four months. Oh, Be four months. Yeah, mm. because of COVID, um, the ships, they didn't get loaded and unloaded so fast. Oh. There were about 100 waiting container ships in front of the harbor of Los Angeles. Oh. And then they had to go through the Panama Channel. Right. There's also... A lot of mm. waiting ships in mm. front of that. So, and then they went through the Mediterranean Sea first, mm. the ship. So a long journey, four months in total. So when you sell it later and you say how much the car has traveled, you've got to document all this <laughs> to the new owners. <laughs> you cannot buy the car. You cannot buy it. Well, no way. So <laughs> Don't sell. Now that you've seen uh, a lot of our country, uh, what are your favorite parts of uh, seeing the U.S.? No favorite. It's not uh -huh. good to say. <laughs> no, I, yeah. uh, many many people ask this, uh, but I think it's not good to say. The um, artist park is, uh, uh, is what, the what, best. What impressed you? What did you not expect that you were impressed by? For me, it was, was the Pikes Peak race. Uh, okay. The Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak. Pikes 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 Pikes. Oh, yeah. I've never yeah. seen that. But yeah. 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 I, to drive it by by myself, I mm -hmm. think this was uh, for me so yeah, mm -hmm. best thing. Yeah, I've I've had the opportunity to drive up and you really ju just like golf, right? It looks I, I wouldn't say it looks simple, but just driving driving up a mountain, right? Yeah. You, know, you can't truly appreciate it until you've driven it yourself. And then you think back the speeds in which they're driving it and the consequences of if you don't drive it correctly, man. But I think for me, I grew up in the neighborhood of Walter Roll in Bavaria. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was a, a hero in my youth time. Yeah. And a hero now. And he raced in the 80s with the Audi S1, mm -hmm. this famous mm -hmm. Pikes Peak yeah, uh, sure. time. So always Pikes Peak. Wow. It's a great road. We have to, you have to drive it. I have to drive it. Mm -hmm. And then you stay at the, the officer's uh, house on the entrance. Say, wow, now do it 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh, but I see it's 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 crazy when you drive. I think we needed forty minutes to to the to the summit. Wow, really? Yeah, forty about or fifty. Like I don't that. know. We, you you see this road. You see the mountains on the on the left side and the more than downhill one hundred one thousand feet. The opportunity when you cross above the clouds. Yeah, that's what to me was unbelievable. We're higher than the clouds. Mm. And so in the height in, 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 in Europe, you say 10,000 feet. Well, no, we don't have things. Uh, Paso Stelvio is 2,700 meters, about 8,000 feet. Mm -hmm. And you start at 8,000 feet and the summit is at 14,000 feet. So it's really high. It's, mm. it's an experience. So how about you, Ojern? Anything about being in the U.S. and traveling that you didn't expect? Yeah, maybe it was at the Treffen in uh, in 2020, was it 20? Mm -hmm. uh, 21 in Scottsdale. And there was a, the desert was blooming. The, all the cacti mm -hmm. had uh, flowers on top. Mm. I've never seen that and I've never heard about it. And I didn't expect this. So that was very special to me to mm -hmm. see this. It was, yeah, randomly we were there at this time, you know, but mm. I did not expect anything like that. 
Now, the pictures that we are sharing online, they're fantastic photos. But those are, are the photos of all the good times. <laughs> and I know there's, there's one incident that I want to share about where, but that was, I think, with the, with the more recent cars, right? Mm -hmm. the, with, the, yes. with your Speedster. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just, before we talk about the, the, the second uh, group of cars or the, the two cars that you brought over again, but I just want to share, this is how patient you are and how um, you're, you are able to get through any scenario. And I believe it was you are parked in a parking lot, kind of a very close nose to tail and uh, someone locked the keys in the car and the spare set of keys was uh, maybe two or three hours away and the car that you had the keys to was blocked in by the car that you didn't have the keys to and that's not so bad that's not so bad you had the idea of getting the car you could inch by inch by inch by inch by inch and out of that parking space he goes off to go get the spare keys but while he's doing that torrential storm, I'll let you finish that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it starts to raining and rains and rains and very hard cats and dogs. It didn't stop again and uh, parking sprays filled up with water. Started so to flood. It, yeah, it started to flood. And then other water comes in from the street. It comes down to the parking slot and yeah it filled up and up and up and it didn't stop and the water came closer and closer to our car and fortunately we parked on the highest spot of that parking slot all the other cars left already it was i think it was all it's been all SUVs and mm. pickups, something like that. They already got water over the tires. You know? <laughs> okay. now, now you parked at the spot just by luck? Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. You weren't just expecting by luck. a flood. Just no, by luck. not at all. Wow. It, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't rain when we went in. You know? yeah. There was, uh, I think, one or two spaces left in that parking slot, and that one was the upper one and he parked in that and he called me I should come and park behind him there is an uh, enough of space for two cars actually I wanted to take another one but he called me and I thought oh yeah my god oh, okay I go up and yeah if the car would have <laughs> been in another space uh, it would be floating yeah. oh. so, so what was uh, about uh, two, f two feet half a meter yeah, hi, in, in that the, area. In the parking area. Yeah. Everywhere in that lot except for the spot. Yeah, that they were, do you remember what state this was in? Sunny Belt Island, Florida. Florida, yeah. of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And after three and a half hour, it stopped. The rain stopped, fortunately. <laughs> it was, I think... Oh, now, are you calling him one, up, giving him updates on how the water is rising? Yeah, once. <laughs> once hurry I, up, hurry up. <laughs> yeah, I called him. I said, what What can I do? The water is coming up and up. And, and he said, I, I'm, I cannot do faster. I'm in rush hour right yeah. now. I'm in Fort Myers, wherever. Mm -hmm. It's rush hour. I cannot come faster. And I said, what should I do? And he said, yeah, you can find a park ranger and he can pull you out the whole car. But the car had the brake and the gear was inside so <laughs> <laughs> probably if something will break but yeah. it doesn't matter just get a car out of the water but how can i find a park ranger on sunny bell island <laughs> yeah. now, if if you're there not, is nobody <laughs> there's nobody <laughs> and if you're not paying attention the car is locked yeah. you're three and a half four hours round trip Raining cats and dogs, so much so it's flooding the parking lot. The water right. starting to creep upon the car. This whole time, she's been standing outside. Yes. Oh, I thought it was a parking garage. <laughs> no. no. Oh, no. oh, wow. Oh, I missed that part. I thought you were inside other parking no, no, garage. No, no, no. She's oh, standing wow. outside. <laughs> Honestly, Manny, Roxanne would last how long? Loann, I know, would last maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, that would take. A, that would have cost me a lot. Yeah. Uh, the yes. problem was we couldn't uh, get the parking uh, ticket for the parking space because there was an app, and he he 
installed the app on his cell phone, but uh, we were not able to pay because our license plate does a fit oh, and yeah. a mask from <laughs> the US oh. plate. <laughs> and also our credit cards are sometimes not working over here because we have to add the zip code yeah. and the German zip code doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Yeah. So we could not get a ticket. And so I had to stay there. I thought if there is somebody coming, uh, see that we don't have a ticket, so they will, uh, yeah. Throw away the car. Throw away the car, so the car is gone. So I have to stay here. And if somebody is coming, I have to explain that we cannot have the parking ticket, you know. So Wow. wow. So three and a half, four hours later, your shining knight comes with a spare he key. He came for just a, just for Four and a half hours Four later. Four and a half hours later. Oh my gosh, she's standing in the <laughs> rain. <laughs> and the key wasn't working because the battery was empty. That was a spare key. The spare key. Yeah. Uh, you never use it. The battery was <laughs> well, empty. But fortunately, we have a, a lock. The, the, sl Just, the slot that yeah. you can open it. And, and that's what I do too when I go long distance. Not even just even if I'm taking the Odyssey or something like I always take the second set of key and like put it in our luggage or something like that in case something happens. We too good, know. Good, good thing you had <laughs> yeah. that spare key. I was going to say, uh, if you had, someone hadn't told you already, uh, get a AAA membership. Uh, <laughs> AAA has uh, locksmithing. Okay, but... And they will come and unlock the car. But not to Sunnybird Island, to the northern part of Sunnybird Island. Where they were. Eventually they would get to you, but I think you're they probably for faster. For our yeah. <laughs> Or find somebody that's sketchy looking. I'm sure they broke into a car. <laughs> well, there's a rock. <laughs> there's a rock that you should just... No. Wow, uh, that's, uh, that's an incredible story. Now, is that the most, uh, let's see, most dramatic experience uh, out of the 40,000 miles? Or were there were there mm, other ones? Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. That the most Because you're facing with possibly yeah. losing the car yeah, underwater. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you, you should know the white one is my car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so... So fast forward to now <laughs> trip number two, because the first trip, yes, you did a lot of bucket list items, but why not do it again? And so there's there the the white car is here mm -hmm. again, but there's a different car. We missed our goal, Porsche Parade, yes. Palm Springs, with the PCA. So we had to come back. Come back. And did you ha did you have this Speedster before, or you bought it just before coming back over for? We. We got the Speedster two days before the white and the blue uh, left Germany. We ah, picked it up in, okay. in Stuttgart. So we were the first owners. Yeah, and this is an after, after, after the first trip, we said it's enough. It was, uh, I think, a trip of the lifetime. You don't need a second, uh, second trip. But who wrote once time Porsche Parade Palm Springs 23? And Otto read this and she thought about maybe we could do it a second time. Green and light. To me, when she says maybe, to me, that's like green light. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 yes. And then Ranch, Ranch Board uh, um, relaunched. Right. Six years of Porsche 911. So we said, okay, now do it now or never. Yeah. And there you go. We and this, it. um, it's, if you are not watching on YouTube, it's a jade very special jade green speedster beautiful car um how is it driving that compared to the gt3 it's a softy it's a soft it's a softy it's a it's, it's more a, of a touring car yeah uh, it's a, everybody tells us the gt3 was out the rooftop okay yeah. it's a it's the engine of the gt3 i think a lot of parts of the gt3 but in similar it's not similar to a gt3 rs it's softer it runs all things run easily. Mm -hmm. You can change the gears very easy. In the 997.2, you have to work, you have to hold your car, the steering wheel, you get wet hands when you drive 500 mi miles on a, on a back road. Ah. And with the Speedster, yeah, it's very easy. So do you switch which cars you drive or do you pick one and always stick with it? We no. don't switch. You don't switch? <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, you don't switch. You, yours I, is yours, and that's what you're going to drive. Yeah, yeah, I drive the white one, and he's with the Spitzer. Oh. The white one's the RS. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's impressive. Wow. So you drive softy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's a tough girl. <laughs> All right, so how about this time around? Anything 
what was memorable? I, I got to think that Ren Sport was pretty me- memorable for you. Yep. Yeah. Was that your first Ren Sport? Yes. Okay. And uh, it's unbelievable what's happened. She tells us, yeah, many friends. You have a lot of friends. You have to go to Ren Sport. It's a big party. But a big party is, n- is not Ren Sport. Ren Sport is. Uh, you, can, you can't describe it enough. No, until can, you, until yeah. you've been yeah. to a Ren Sport, right. you can. Talk to your blue in the face and no. tell people, but they won't no. get it. They yeah. won't get it no. until they actually That's set a, foot yeah. at a restaurant. How can you say one hundred? You can't see everything. No. It's how so can you much say one hundred thousand Porsche enthusiasts? Maybe three thousand Porsche, mm-hmm. Porsche race cars, old race cars from the fifties, from the sixties, on a racetrack. It's, wow! It's, yeah. it's unbelievable. So before all this, this journey and the journey before. Uh, you were active in the club. You became president of Porsche Club Leipzig. Did you ever think that your Porsche family would continue to grow and encompass the members of PCA? Did you even think that would happen? I think mm, no, n- n- not. Mm. Because we see you we as family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, in the first time when, when we thought about this, we have no idea that it happened. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's uh, that it will be happen. You have to do some things. You have to give something. You have to say, I'm here. We participate at a Porsche parade. We go on a church field at Works Union. Mm-hmm. We stay everywhere. We see you everywhere. You see us everywhere. So the family is growing. Uh, the, the friendship is growing. In California, a friend um, made the words, our chain of friendship continues. And I think it's a, it's a good sentence. You, you have to show you, you have to be, you d- mm, yeah, you have to drive your car, you have to stay at the families. We stay in California at the GPX region with. Susan and Skip, Skip Carter. Carters, yeah, the Carters, we yeah. met the first time at the autocross in Fontana. And sh- they said, please visit, is, visit us in San Diego. Stay as, with us. So you have to change your plans. Drive to San Diego. Stay with your new friends. Now they are old friends. Mm. We, we, we visit them in June too. When we started in 2019, I, I read an article a cu- uh, about a couple in Knoxville, Tennessee, who drove the, the Tale of the Dragon. Sure. I yeah. looked Facebook. I, I found Brenda. I wrote her, Brenda, we, ca- we are two Germans. We would like to drive the Tale of the Dragon. She wrote back, if you are here, we drive it with you. Oh, that's awesome. We stayed in January 21 in their house. We, we arrived in Atlanta. She... I, g- I got a uh, phone number. Please call me when you arrive. Ah, it's Ross, the uh, husband of of, uh, of Brenda. Yeah, when will we arrive? M- because of COVID, the hotels are closed. You can stay in our house. We arrived. We got a, a, a sign, welcome twins. And when we arrived after two days, they said, now you have a second home. That's yeah, that's it's PCA. fantastic. Yeah. That it's, PCA. it's PCA. It's that all about PCA. the all yeah. about the pe- all about the people, mm-hmm. and we met them one week ago, a second time in her house. It's the same with Alex. He said, "Come to me when you are here in, in North Carolina. My house is your house." But then you have to go, go to his, visit him, and say hello. We are here, yeah. and now we try it the same way. If you come to Germany. We have to come visit you. Yeah, yes. I'd yeah. Yeah. I think this. I, I don't. I don't know this way in Germany. We have a Porsche Club of Germany. We have a Carrera Treff now, not the Porsche Club of Leipzig. I'm now uh, Carrera Treff in Leipzig. Yeah. Small enthusiasts. We try to bring uh, like a family uh, to Germany, mm-hmm. but I think it's not the same way like in the US. It's a little different. I it's mean, I think there's yeah. some, there is camaraderie amongst the clubs yeah, yeah. and you guys go to events together. But I always say PCA, there is nothing like PCA no. in terms yeah, of opening the doors mm. to your yeah. house or coming yeah. to visit or needing help mm. or yeah. there's there's nothing like PCA. I always yeah. see uh, YouTube videos and they'll say uh, differences between Americans and Germans from Americans who go to live in Germany. 
And uh, the thing they always point out is that Americans are very, um, I guess, overly friendly, maybe, yeah, yeah. where yeah. they will be act like you're their best friend immediately. Mm. You yeah. know, there doesn't yeah. need any yeah. time. Is, and I always attribute that, at least with PCA and Porsche, that if uh, if I hear you pronounce Porsche correctly, Porsche. I- immediately I say, oh, this is an enthusiast. Mm. So right. I'll be able to talk to this person. Manny always says that's a secret handshake. If uh, you say okay. it correctly, that's, okay. that's a secret handshake. <laughs> and, uh, and I, well, we can have a conversation mm. you know, because we already have something in common. And uh, from there, you make them feel, you can feel, make a stranger feel very welcome quickly mm. um, as part of the group. And uh, to, to our club, that's very important because we don't sell cars. Uh, we sell the experience, if you mm. will, yeah. of owning a Porsche. So uh, having uh, new members feel as part of this community is super important. So it's, uh, it's great that, um, that the Americans have been welcoming you uh, because yes. I think just, that's just the way Americans, for the most part, are you know most our our friends that uh, we have because of the Porsche Club, I would have never met these people mm-hmm. if it wasn't for Porsche. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. such a diverse group of people mm-hmm. uh, that I would have never met them, but simply because of the Porsche Club, we're best of mm-hmm. friends now. Yeah, and I find that people that join the club more often are not. You find that they're that we say cut from the same cloth, yep. right? You like, because they're a PCA member, you kind of already gra- gravitate and they pre-qualified and know that you can be friends with them. Mm. And it just multiply that by, you know, the 160,000 members we have. It's very cool that we have these relationships and we can have fun. And we in the States here, like, we have a lot of friends in PCA and we have no idea what each other really does for a mm. living. I don't know what you guys do for a living, nor do I really care. Mm. I just know that you're passionate about Porsches. You're doing things that we love, and that's what we focus on. Um, yeah, it's uh, we're pre- we feel pretty fortunate. So, so after here, you're continuing on I-95, I believe, and you're going to end up in Rhode Island. Yes. So you're going to visit stop. with uh, Donald Osborne and Audrey. Yes. And then after that, where do you go? We go to uh, Indianapolis Raceway. Have a Small look. Oh, go small to look. <laughs> <laughs> Rhode Island to Indy. We're just gonna take. Go, hey, go, hang a left. <laughs> <laughs> go to go to Mount, Mount Rushmore and next. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you do realize it's the, only the route in, that no, you take? No, it's three inches. Three inches. <laughs> three inches. <laughs> and last destination is Porsche Colorado Springs. Okay. Next Sunday. Oh, oh my God! So my. You're, you're next Sunday. <laughs> next Sunday. No, in ten days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a four inch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love those those guys out there. Uh so when will the cars go back? June seventeenth. June this year. Okay, so they'll stay so will you stay in the States until June or do will you go back for a little bit? No, we go back yeah. and forth always. But okay. uh, after Colorado Springs we go back home over the Easter. Okay. And then we come back and yeah, then we go Next uh, goal we... is the Treffen in okay. Sonoma. In Sonoma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then are you going to Birmingham Parade? No. no. Oh. You have to, uh, yeah. Yeah. It is too Dear close, P- to, too the close end. to the oh. end. Yeah, yeah, the PCA uh, board, you have to change your day. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, no, it's too close because the cars have only the, the permit for until June 70s. Do you and need me to write a letter of extension? <laughs> <laughs> Why it's not? A, uh, try it. Yeah, yeah. Your wife works for the government. I, I, have <laughs> no, I have no idea for an extension now because we, yeah, there's, there's no, no, reason, reason, no reason. really reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I think maybe we need the next uh, EPA permit uh, <laughs> in the future. We got it once and mm. we mm. are happy about that. That you and got so that one. Yeah, right. Because right. right. I can yeah. imagine when you asked for that, they were probably thinking of so many other worldly issues that right. a car extension was not at the top of their yeah, yeah. priority. Yeah. And so Birmingham is, um, is two days before the, uh, is the end of uh, Porsche Parade is two days before. And where do, where do you need to get the cars to get shipped from back? Los, from Los Angeles. Oh, so you Because we go, okay. we go back, um, I think it was Susan um, from the GPX region who told us about the uh, yeah. PCA Treffen by, uh, Wine County. Mm-hmm. And Audrey said, okay, I will I go that on back. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason why we go back from Florida to California. It's yeah. really, I'm, it's easy. And so it, it's the easiest way is to ship the cars back from Los Angeles. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, Robert, let's um, 
catch up on the newsletters. If you haven't uh, subscribed to PCA's newsletters, check out eBreak News, Mark Fresh News, and Performance News. Head to PCA.org. Of course, if you're enjoying the podcast or any of our YouTube vi videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Manny, you want to run through the videos since Dame is not here? Uh, let's see. What do we have? Um, We've got the walkthrough. Yeah, we did the, um, the Mealy Island walkthrough where uh, it was raining. But we did our best to uh, to make it appear like it wasn't raining, and uh, we walked through our favorite cars. So there's a lot of interesting uh, cars in the video. Um, my favorite was the Speedster with the bullet hole yes. in the door. Uh, it was amazing. I think we said it before that uh, so many of the members. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you caught me that. <laughs> that one was unintentional. Um, so many cars came out despite the rain and very few people canceled now some people said how come you didn't cover this car that car just keep in mind we we shot this within what 30 minutes and we can only cover so much and i would tell people uh submit a picture of your car and, and when you write the description on it write something very interesting because we do pre-production so we're lining these cars up before we get mm -hmm. there and uh and oftentimes it, the story of the car is sometimes just there's important. no picture or anything, yeah. and so odds are your car won't get picked unless we see it on the field, like we did the uh, speedster with the bullet hole. Yep, exactly. We also did a Tech Tactics live last week on the Porsche market. Yeah, it's been very well received. Had David Whitlock who does the Stuttgart Market Newsletter, and uh, he, I think he started tracking pricing from when he was ten years old. I think he said he was. Yes, and uh, he keeps uh, a whole slew of uh, spreadsheets on uh, different auctions. Um, and keeping tabs on pricing. So uh, he did a great job of answering um, viewers' questions about the value of their cars and what's going up, what's going down. Some people didn't agree with him, but it's hard to beat uh, the data. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's not uh, providing an opinion per se. He's basically tracking the uh, data and following the line graphs of which direction, either it's going up, sideways, or down. Yep. So. Uh, some news items that you shared, Manny, and this one was a... a uh, a big coverage, especially yesterday, with the Taycan Turbo GT. Yeah, so Porsche. So we thought for the longest time it was going to be the tri motor. This is the car that, that beat Tesla Plaid S at the Nurburgring, and uh, all the spry photos said it was a triple a tri motor, which means one motor in front, two in the rear. But it's only two motors, which mm -hmm. is really impressive that they uh, beat the Plaid S, which has a tri motor, and. Uh, um, just leave it to Porsche. They use plain old engineering to achieve uh, the numbers they did. But what's unique about this car, the question is, if you get the Wysock package, you get no back seat. So it's a four-door, but no back seat. How many people are going to choose that? Uh, the collectors. Well, uh, Rob yeah. Sass and I are the editor of Panorama, and I were talking last night on the phone about that. Uh, will they sell? Because you can't choose a Wysock package and have a rear seat put in. He already asked that question. They said, no, if you choose Wysock, it has no rear seat in it. Um, yeah, that makes it uh, It's a four-door car. I know, but people <laughs> are going to buy it because it is the record holder. It's the 1,000 horsepower. It is king of the hill. I mean, they, they saw, I think they sold out of the Cayenne Turbo GT, and you can't tow it that. Right. So, yeah. yeah like I told him, I said, I think they're going to sell every one, and people probably will get the Wysock because... If you don't, then your friend who has a Wysock package is going to have one on top of you. Right. I mean, it's when you have all the others, this is just one to add to the collection. <laughs> yeah. Rob told me uh, he gets car sick. The other, I think I don't know if you met Rob yeah. or not. Yeah. He called me right before he was going to get in the car. Oh, boy. And uh, I was like, well, run the camera because that'll make good video if you get car sick. Well, <laughs> he thought York Bergmeister was going to drive him. I said, I want to get yours re reaction when you get car sick. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of adding to your collection, this is more along our uh, pay scale here, Manny. The next one has to do with the uh, 911 Carrera RS27 off-road. Yeah, so this is a, um, uh, is it Play School? Playmobil. Playmobil, excuse me, Playmobil uh, has come out with the new uh, model. So for those of us who collect these uh, Playmobil models, um, there's another one you need to get, 73 RS Safari Edition. And I guarantee you, Manny will buy one. Yes. And, and never put not, it together. Never put it together. <laughs> It'll stay in a box. <laughs> Upcoming events. We have the Porsche-only swap meet 
in Carlisle, April 27th. Again, Porsche Parade registration has opened. We look forward to seeing many of you in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, PCA Sim Racing, we've got a new offer. The uh, The chair of Sim Racing was challenged with coming up with a Sim rig that's, let's call it plug and play. I don't know, Robert, if you have the, uh, the website there, but uh, he challenged a company to come up with something, and here it is. It's a very cool rig, and single screen, seats, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce the, the name. It's a PV or a PVI. And everything you need to go sim racing. Plug it in, download uh, the software, and go racing with other PCA members, uh, US and Canada. And of course, they have races worldwide. And I believe we will be seeing this sim rig at uh, Porsche Parade as well. Do you have a price? I believe it is 4500 4500 4500 hmm. And I can tell you... That if you try to do it on the cheap, you're probably going to maybe get to 3000 for something like that. But you'll be much more frustrated because you won't know how to put it together and it won't be sort of tested and tried and true. Whereas this is a setup that is, let's say, signed off by the uh, PCA uh, Sim Racing Group. So there you go. A, a quick and simple uh, solution to those that want to get and in. And how much are you selling your rig for? Uh, I haven't sold it yet. I still have it. And uh, I still need to plug it back in. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have the time. That's my that's my, my reason. But I am making time for the next event here. Uh, well over 800 members signed up to go to Trefinet C, Alaska. So make sure if you're interested to sign up now, July 28th through August 4th. There are several rooms not a lot but several rooms still available and it's booking out very quickly so hopefully we see some of you on that do you see a picture i see icebergs when i look at that <laughs> yes yeah see the yes. icebergs that's where we're going uh, there's no story with that <laughs> we try to follow you with our cars yes <laughs> <laughs> next uh the web store again if you're interested in getting some pca insider merch we have t-shirts mugs water bottles, and of course, if you're looking for a PCA Insider decal, you can email us at podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, at PCA.org. Anything else before we sign off and send these folks on the road? Maybe before we send them off on the road, they should have a Maryland crab cake. Have you had a crab cake before? No, and by the no, blank no, faces, no, okay. No. Well, uh, we'll I have was to explain say to you. the really challenge would give them steam crabs. Oh, that, that's that, not going to happen uh, <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Remember to follow um, our PCA podcast Instagram page. If you aren't currently a PCA member and own a Porsche, grab a VIN, head over to PCA.org. If you're looking for your first Porsche, uh, try our test drive program. We'll help you find the right Porsche for your driveway or for your garage. Again, if you'd like to send us an email, podcast at PCA.org. Comments on YouTube, we love seeing them. If you want to stay in touch with all things PCA, just remember to, again, subscribe to our free PCA newsletters at PCA.org slash newsletters. Until next time, stay safe. We'll catch you down the road. Christian, Ortrin, thank you for joining us, and we wish you safe, fun miles ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.